All right, next let's talk about our weather. Michelle, it is early summer, which means it's hot, it's humid, and there's a chance for something at some point just about every day, right? <laughs> you got it. You don't need me the rest of the summer, right? Does that mean I get to take some time off? That would be great. Uh, showers and thunderstorms, though, out there today. We really had uh, good luck with them. They rolled through. Not a big deal for many. There were some heavier downpours in Virginia, but Blues Lake, just gorgeous. And the sunset's incredible. And you can see the crescent moon now, by the way. That's something to look for. Also, coming up into Friday morning, look for the International Space Station. That'll be passing through early morning, though, about 5.04 in the morning. So check this out at about peak height of 44 degrees above the horizon. Now you're going to see that visible for four minutes. Take a look at this beautiful sunset out there captured tonight. Gorgeous, like the pinks and reds, the hues out there, just incredible. And you can see the thunderstorm clouds, the tops there in the background. Yeah, we're definitely looking forward to seeing some afternoons that are going to be mostly rain free, we believe, as we get you into the weekend. But until then, there are some spotty storms. Tonight's severe thunderstorm risk really started to drop off. We had most of that energy roll north into central Virginia. Now we've got a few showers that are lingering. We've got this front coming through. And as the front comes through, it is going to bring in a slightly drier air mass for us. Not necessarily cooler, though. We've got 74 degrees in Greensboro, 78 in Burlington. Our temperatures in the mountains in the upper 60s right now. And that's where we're heading early morning for morning lows in the triad, but down into the upper 50s mountains, a few isolated areas of showers that could roll through, like what we're seeing now, trying to move out of Hillsville area and toward Galax. Rain chances at 20% in the next couple of days, and it does look very spotty. Most of our day, though, on Wednesday should be dry. We expect to see any of those thunderstorms firing after the dinner hour. So after 5 o'clock, things could get a little bit noisy here and there. Does not look severe at this point, though. Mountains tomorrow, we've got 77 degrees in those storm chances. We're going to take those storm chances mainly after 5 as well there. And it could be widely scattered going through the midnight hour, even lingering into early morning Thursday. But I think most of your day, lots of sunshine out there. It does feel a little less humid on our Wednesday. This is a new air mass behind our cold front. And so isolated late day storms, not a big deal. Your grilling out forecast, that could be the only thing that might be hampered, especially in the southern Piedmont. Some of our forecast models, as you see on the hour by hour forecast showing, that, yeah, it's spotty in nature as we get you down into the southern Piedmont. So coming out of Charlotte, could see a wave of energy there, triggering some thunderstorms across parts of the triad. And that might mean your evening forecast could be a little bit wetter. We're going to be focusing in on that tomorrow morning. Timing could change, so check in with meteorologist Brian Slocum as well as Carly Cassidy as they'll have more for you. All right, going into your early Thursday morning, some widely scattered showers may linger with us even through 7, 8 a.m., so that might put us into a position where we're going to be a little bit more mild. So we've got you down to 84 degrees for afternoon highs there, which is pretty close to normal, but not as hot as it's been. So water vapor imagery showing you at least in the mid and upper levels, we've got some good flow coming in and out of the Gulf of Mexico. The question is, with this ridge of high pressure at the surface developing, will we have enough moisture to work with to bring in storms toward the end of the week? Right now, we expect to be mostly dry, so we've kept Friday dry. Looking at those temperatures, though, you see sunshine in 80s for your Friday and taking you into the upper 80s to near 90, both Saturday and Sunday. Your sunrise is tomorrow morning at 6.04, Saturday at 8.41 and the 7 day forecast showing you your Piedmont sheet metal seven day forecast with 84 degrees going into your Thursday and rain chances lingering at 20 percent possibly some morning showers even an isolated afternoon storm again and then 90s for the weekend for now we have you dry it is going to be much more steamy so get ready to keep cool and make sure you're doing the same throughout the weekend we'll have much more for you coming up in the 11 o'clock hour on WXI 12.